Breaking tonight, Hillary Clinton apologizes after insulting Trump voters on the campaign trail in New York City. Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Jeanine Pirro. Thanks for being with us tonight. So, I go on vacation, I come back, and I have this open all planned. And last night, Hillary Clinton says this. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And unfortunately, there are people like that. And he has lifted them up. Now, some of those folks, they are irredeemable, but thankfully, they are not America. <laughs> I am a friend and supporter of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is now neck and neck with Hillary Clinton. So Hillary is basically calling a huge portion of America deplorable and irredeemable. Now, I don't consider myself deplorable, but since you started it, Hillary, let's have at it. Hillary, you bow to and take money from countries who throw gays off buildings. You take money for your so-called charity from countries that don't allow women to drive. A so-called feminist who supports countries that force women to cover every part of their bodies but their eyeballs. And you want to call us Islamophobes? On the eve of the 15th anniversary of 9-11, if I'm from Lower Manhattan, San Bernardino, or Orlando, and I'm afraid of a Muslim jihadist, I'm an Islamophobe? Hillary, it sounds pretty reasonable to be fearful of them to me. And you, you, Hillary, the queen of Black Lives Matter, you want to call me a racist? And you continued to trash talk the Trump supporters. But that other basket of people are people who feel the government has let them down. The economy has let them down. Nobody cares about them. Nobody worries about what happens to their lives and their futures. And they're just desperate for change. Hey, Hillary, you got that one right. We are desperate for change, and you sure ain't it. You are as establishment as it gets. And yes, we're fed up with your kind of government, where the attorney general secretly meets with your husband while you're the target of an active criminal investigation with no less than 100 FBI agents, and you come out days later promising that you'll keep her on as attorney general if you become president. You're right. We're fed up with your kind of government where the destruction of subpoenaed evidence with hammers and bleach bit and delete buttons are tolerated, where you simply ignore subpoenas and you destroy federal documents, where the head of the FBI, when called upon to explain before Congress why you're not being charged with a myriad of federal felonies, is so outclassed and so outlawed that a five-year old could write an indictment based upon federal crimes? You're, Hillary, so right. We are fed up. And Hillary, since you started the name calling, Hillary, you are a liar and a pathological one at that. You're a cheat. You're dishonest, you are condescending, you are arrogant, contemptuous, and if you think that your half-assed apology will wipe the slate clean, you are wrong. It takes you 17 hours to figure out that you had to apologize. The ordinary people, Hillary, the people who have to follow the law, who have no choice but to pay their taxes, who have to work two and three jobs, who fight for all of us, many of whom come back with fewer limbs, don't want a president who hates us. 
We don't want a president who thinks that we're deplorable. And on this, the eve of the worst terror attack on this great nation's soil by Islamic terrorists, I can't trust a president who doesn't think that I'm worthy of being an American. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.